Hello, this is the operation of the self-locking differential we have developed for trucks. This time is for a Tamiya brand differential. This is the original differential housing and the modified differential. Here we have one with the original housing and the original differential. Evidently, it behaves inversely proportional. If we move one wheel in one way, the other one goes to the opposite way. But if we lift one wheel off the ground, the other wheel will lose its traction. This is what happens with the Tamiya differentials. In our differential, the non load behavior is like the ordinary. We can see here how the differential acts normally on both wheels. Here we can also see it, one to the one side and the other to the other side. But when the differential is tracking and one wheel stays in the air The other one is leaning and tracking. We can see that one is up and the other is tracking. And we check again that is completely free. You can see it again. Here we see how it acts as a normal differential. But when you need it to become rigid because a wheel gets up, when it goes from being both wheels on the ground and one lift and we pretend to track, the lock comes on automatically and we see this one, which is the one that's leaning in the ground, has traction. The one that's in the air is still rolling too. It becomes rigid. At the moment we need the differential, we simply place the two wheels on the ground. Does the wheel lift because the track stays in the air? In an original differential tamilla, this wheel will start to spin and this will not. It will remain bracket. Thereby, the track will not have no traction. If we turn it, we see as the wheel which stays in the ground, which is going to pass the track, in this case, also turns. The one that's in the air has no traction at all, but the move to it, it were a single rigid shaft. We see here that it's the one it's laying in the round while the blockaded does not act. We see that this one does not move and this one does. But when it is dead that the need traction, we see that this has already moved. We repeat again, free differential, we lift the wheel, locked differential, from other side, free differential, locked differential, both wheels are tracking, instead exactly the same. Free, locked, the one that's learning which going to push the trunk has traction. What we have done, replace the original differential, this one here, which is the one that breaks the Tamiya differential to another differential that we've developed by the Magon team making a track that evidence at the time it gets off the track and goes into the ground it ran out of traction with a small inner modification only this piece we make it a free differential at the same time a blockable one if we hold the differential we can turn Anyway, 
with this wheel we see it's free but if we hold it the wheel doesn't move it gets blocked I hope you have made it clear if anyone has any doubts you can consult us on our website bye